My son was on the wrestling team. When he cut weight by two classes, we started to worry. We had always enjoyed family dinner together, but my daughter started to be very rigid about what she would eat. Eventually, she refused to join us and stayed in her room. One of my boys would just sit and watch TV and eat snacks. I would find wrappers and food containers everywhere, and he gained 20 pounds in a month. Our oldest daughter would leave the table to be by herself after every meal. She got sick all the time and looked so pale, but she wouldn't talk about what was going on. These are the voices of parents who have noticed behavior in their children that could indicate a feeding or eating disorder. The most common of these disorders include anorexia nervosa, bulimia nervosa, and binge eating disorder. These are complex mental health conditions that often occur during the teenage years and can be the source of physical problems, emotional distress, and even medical crisis. Detecting feeding and eating disorders as early as possible is an important step in helping. Keep a few simple things in mind. Watch behavior. People with feeding or eating disorders often attempt to hide their conditions. Watch for behavior like withdrawing from family mealtime, refusing to eat certain foods, having a rigid rule about food, stockpiling or hiding food, calorie counting, excessive exercise, vomiting when not ill, or using laxatives. Try to connect. Talking about these challenges must be done empathetically, compassionately, and kindly. But the seriousness of the conversation must also be clear. People struggling with their thoughts about food and weight often feel alone, misunderstood, and hopeless. Unwavering support and personal connection from family is vital. Expect resistance. A person with a feeding or eating disorder can experience deep embarrassment, shame, guilt, fear, and hopelessness. It is important for family members to be as patient as possible. It often takes time and repeated efforts in order to successfully discuss concerns. Physical health can deteriorate. When feeding or eating disorders remain untreated and symptoms persist, family members may see dramatic changes in health, including sudden weight loss or weight gain, high or low blood sugar, easy or frequent bruising, unhealthy skin and hair, easily broken bones, gastrointestinal problems, rotting teeth, and other significant medical issues. Crisis is possible. Physical deterioration can lead to crisis. While most people receive care prior to a crisis, advanced feeding or eating disorders can result in life-threatening situations, including cardiac arrest, coma, organ failure, and suicidal thoughts and behavior. If this happens, emergency medical attention should be sought immediately. Treatment works. Feeding and eating disorders are serious conditions that are scary for the person suffering and the family. It's important for family members to confidently discuss the treatment options for these conditions and know that evidence-based treatments can be successful. Because these disorders are common, there are mental health providers, physicians, crisis lines, peer support groups, and organizations dedicated to providing useful, empathetic, and supportive resources for both patients and their families. People experience feeding or eating disorders together with their families. The conditions can be scary and they are dangerous if left untreated. But families and people can seek treatment together and treatment works. With some basic preparation and awareness, a family can find and provide help. And with this help, there is hope. If you or someone you are worried about is struggling with any of the issues discussed in this short video, help is just a phone call away. Please call the National Eating Disorders Information and Referral Line at 1-800-931-2237. This confidential helpline will connect you to the right resource and care. Alternatively, if you or someone you care about is experiencing an urgent medical emergency, please call 911 or make an appointment to see a medical doctor as soon as possible.